you will prepare a cheek swab, which is a slightly modified version of a bacterial smear. You will spread an oral sample on MSAT medium to do a simple stain later this week and distinguish between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells through the microscope. For the cheek swab, you will need a glass slide, the slide holder, the waste cup, a cotton swab, water, crystal violet, your transfer pipette for water, and another one for crystal violet, a heat source, bibulous paper, lens paper, and a phone or camera to take pictures. For the oral sample, you will also need an MSAT plate. Start by labeling the slide and the MSAT plate as previously shown. Place the glass slide in the slide holder on the waste cup. Because there is already moisture in your mouth, you will not add any water to the glass slide. You will use the same cotton swab to take a sample from your cheek and to spread on MSAT. Put the cotton swab in your mouth and rub the inside of your cheek, picking up some saliva in the process. Rub the cotton swab over the center of the glass slide, covering about a quarter to one half of the slide. Now spread the cotton swab over the surface of the MSAT plate as you did for preparing to streak for isolation. Make sure you cover the entire plate. Incubate your plate for two to three days as you usually do, noting the temperature every day. While you did that, your slide would probably have already dried because the amount of moisture from your saliva is not much. Heat fix the slide and put the cheek smear on top of the waste cup in the slide holder. Label one of your transfer pipettes with CV for crystal violet. Once you are done with it today, you can rinse it out, allow it to dry and reuse it. Open the tube with crystal violet and take a small amount out with the transfer pipette. You only need one or two drops. Flood the smear with crystal violet. Flood in this case means to cover the smear with the dye. Allow it to sit for one minute, then rinse it with water. To rinse, just flood the smear with water and allow it to run off into the waste cup twice. You can let the slide air dry at this point, but that takes quite a while. A better way to dry the slide is to open up a sheet of bibulous paper, place the slide in between and fold it close. Gently pat the slide. Move the slide over to a dry area of the paper and pat it again. Do not throw out the bibulous paper. Allow it to air dry for reuse later in the semester. Now your slide is ready for observation with the microscope. You will need the 25x ocular lens for this activity. Place the slide on the stage, start with the 4x objective lens and low light, focusing with the coarse focus knob. You may have to move the slide around a bit until you can see your cheek cells. They will appear as round or oval purple shapes. Once the slide is in focus, move to the 10x objective and refocus only with the fine focus knob. Then move it to the 40x objective and only use the fine focus again. Be very gentle with this last step, as it is easy to turn the focus knob too much. It should only need to move a tiny little bit to bring the cells into full focus. The round or oval purple shapes are your cheek cells. The darker oval shaped structures inside the cells are the nuclei of the cheek cells. The tiny purple structures on top of the cheek cells or next to the cheek cells are the bacteria. These are the bacteria that normally live in your mouth. Don't forget to take some pictures for your lab quiz. When you are done, wipe the lenses off with a small piece of lens paper. You may wash your slide for reuse. Clean up by wiping your bench off and washing your hands. 